Welcome back. It's time for Tech Tuesday. We are with Geek Squad expert Attila Ceres here to talk about protecting your precious electronics from power problems. Well, that was quite a mouthful. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. So, what do we have here today? Well, as I'm sure you know, uh, according to FEMA, thousands of people either uh, get hurt or die in electrical fires each year. And as we're coming up on the holidays, December being, of course, the month where most electrical fires occur, mm -hmm. I wanted to go over three quick tips that okay. you can do to protect your electronics uh, and uh, anything you may plug into the wall, including Christmas lights. Okay. Um, so the first thing I see a lot of, maybe it's something you don't do, but uh, people seem to take their power strip, their surge protected power uh -huh. strip, and they, and they plug another power strip right into it. <laughs> and, <Okay. you> know, <laughs> right, exactly. I think I feel like I've seen this on um, fail websites, you know? You know, I... I and then I, they stick this in the shower, right? No, uh, just yeah, or, um, you know, right. you, you can plug but it in. a bad thing. idea. Bad idea, and uh, what happens is when you do that, you reduce the amount of uh, surge protection okay. you have on your device. So you don't want to do that. That's rule number one. Uh, second thing I wanted to go over is mm -hmm. if you have a desktop computer, mm -hmm. um, you know, you get, through, through, through your power lines, you get these dips, mm -hmm. and uh, those are called brown conditions, and these spikes, they're called surges. Now, this uh, little overweight-looking power strip uh, it's, it's eaten a lot of uh, plate lunch. Uh, <laughs> it's got some batteries inside, uh -huh. and those batteries uh, allow it to uh, normalize the line condition. And so if you do have a desktop computer, you don't use one of these, you risk damaging it, and you may need one of these, which is a uh, power supply. And these are hundreds of dollars to uh, replace inside of your desktop computer. Oh, okay. So that's why I brought one wow. along to show you how shiny oh, it is. Oh, wow. Is that neat? Okay, yeah. It's in every desktop computer. It's kind of hidden away, but it is a very important part. So if you don't get one of these, you're probably going to be replacing it with one of these. Okay, and then lastly, voltage regulators? Voltage is, re is the voltage regulator. You Dad, I hope you're paying attention. <laughs> You know, and, and not just that, anyone who, who's bought one of these nice, big HD televisions, uh, plasmas, like, my dad. like your dad, and, uh, you know, maybe has had some uh, power issues, uh, the, the same thing occurs. Uh, mm -hmm. You get these uh, troughs mm -hmm. and valleys within your power lines, and this normalizes the power condition mm -hmm. uh, so that you get a little bit better life out of your plasma television. Okay, we have less than a minute. We sure. have a viewer question. Valerie Lee asks, I've heard about a new web-based phone service, Jaja, that has a Twitter calling feature. Now, I think that's in Europe, but where is it in the U.S.? Uh, it, it is a worldwide service, uh, but, uh, you know, if you go to their website, it's a little bit confusing. Mm -hmm. So I, I just wanted to kind of call it what it is. It is it is a calling card oh. service. Uh, it, so their, their primary service offering is uh, long distance and international calling. And they've put a few spins on it to make it a little bit more appealing. And one of them is the new beta product mm -hmm. where you can send a tweet to their Twitter page after you've signed up and uh, it'll their, their switching platform will contact you and contact the other person and link the two calls together. Right, that's the total gimmick, the Twitter phone. Mm-hmm, yeah. the Twitter phone. But I, I wonder how well it's gonna hold up against Skype, uh, which has been around a lot longer and uh, has more followers and more users. A little right. bit more mature product. We've got a wrap. We want to hear from you. Send in your tech questions to news today at khnl.com. And if we use it on the air, you'll get 20 bucks certificate to Best Buy. Thank you, Attila Sarras. Thank you. We're throwing it now to Daniel Tucker.